So first of all, let's see what is there in the micro instruction which leads to the generation of the control signal. The micro instruction consists of various fields and there is one field called control signal field which leads to the generation of the control signal. There are two basic approaches followed for the control signal field. One is the horizontal approach and other is the vertical approach. In horizontal microprogramming, within each micro instruction in the control signal field, we reserve one bit for every control signal. For example, suppose our system supports a total of 64 control signals, then for these 64 control signals, we reserve a 1 bit space in the control signal field. Thus, there will be 64 bits in the control signal field. In our example, for instruction fetch, there were 3 control steps, and at the first control step T0, these are the signals to be generated. So suppose for each control step we are having a micro instruction in our micro program. Then in the micro instruction corresponding to this control step, for these six signals the bits will be set to 1 and remaining all the bits will be 0. Similarly at control step T1 these are the signals to be generated. For these four signals, their corresponding bit will be 1 and remaining all the bits will be 0. Similarly, at step T2, these two signals are to be generated and they are out and I are in. For these two signals, the bits will be 1 and remaining all the bits will be 0. Hence, loading this micro instruction into the micro instruction register implies generate the signals for which the bits are set to 1. So, if this micro instruction is loaded to the micro instruction register, the signals IR in and MDR out will be generated. Else, if micro instruction register is having this micro instruction, then the signals PC out, MAR in, read these six signals will be generated executing control step T0. So, this method, as we can see, it's simple and easy and fast to implement, but the problem here is that it leads to long micro instruction. In every micro instruction, we are reserving a one bit space for all the control signals. And usually the system is having large number of control signals and it leads to long micro instruction. Not only that, within each micro instruction, only very few bits actually indicate what is the real action to be performed. Hence, the bit space is not effectively utilized. So the solution is to move to a vertical approach in which we keep the micro instructions shorter but sometimes the number of micro instructions may increase. So how a vertical approach is possible here? Actually there are some control signals which cannot be active at the same time. In other words there are some control signals which are mutually exclusive. For example, consider these 16 ALU functions. For these 16 ALU functions, there are 16 ALU signals and among them only one signal can be active at a time. So instead of reserving 16 bits for these 16 ALU function, we can encode these 16 signals using 4 bits. With 4 bits, we can specify each of these ALU signal and only one signal will be used at a time. So in vertical microprogramming, instead of reserving 16 bits for these 16 signals, we reserve just 4 bits for this 16 signal. Similarly, in our architecture with a single internal processor bus, among these out signals, only one out signal can be active at a time. So suppose there are 11 out signals, then we can encode these 11 signals using log 11 to the base 2, seal of log 11 to the base 2, 4 bits. With 3 bits, we can specify only 2 to the power 3, 8 signals. So minimum 4 bits are required to specify each of these 11 controls signal 
Similarly, we can form some mutually exclusive groups and can encode the signals with fewer number of bits. Suppose we have a group of seven signals among which only one signal can be active at a time. We can encode them using seal of block 7 to the base 2 3 bit. Suppose we have another group of 23 signals, we can encode it using 5 bits. So in this control signal field, how many bits are required? 4 plus 4, 8, 11, 11 plus 5, only 16 bits are required. Instead, if we are using horizontal approach, how many bits will be required? 16 plus 11, 27 plus 30, 57, signal, 57 bits will be required in the horizontal approach. So the number of bits in the control signal field can be reduced, hence the micro instructions can be kept shorter. But the problem is since we are encoding the 16 signals with 4 bits, we need to decode these 4 bits back to identify what's the exact signal represented by the 4 bits. Hence, we need the help of additional hardware or additional decoders in case of vertical microprogramming approach. And the use of decoders will make it slower than the horizontal microprogramming approach too. But the micro instructions will be shorter and also the, there will be effective utilization of bit space. The instruction will be shorter but the number of micro instructions may increase. Because in each micro instruction, we are specifying less number of micro operations. In horizontal microprogramming, within each micro instruction, we have a representation of every control signal. So this micro instruction actually allows specifying any number of micro operation. Means there is a kind of parallelism in each micro instruction. By moving to this kind of vertical approach here, from each group we can specify maximum one signal. It means the number of micro operations that can be specified within the micro instruction reduces compared to the pure horizontal approach. Hence that parallelism will be reduced. And this method is only a transition from the horizontal to the vertical approach where we use partial encoding with mutually exclusive group. Instead, a fully encoding vertical approach is possible where we use minimum number of bits and each combination of bits will be a code to signal a single micro operation. So each code signal a single micro operation means that parallelism is lost. Each micro instruction will specify just one micro operation. So the number of micro instructions required within the micro program may also increase. Also we need decoders and this will make the system slow compared to the horizontal approach.